Clark has proven as he has weathered the storms of life, the years of pastoring, all the challenges and adversities, that he is such a man. And what an honor it is for you, Word Assembly, to be blessed with him as your pastor and leader. So one more time, let's thank God for Bishop Clark. Amen. Come on, really, really. We wouldn't be in this building if it weren't for his vision. Kind of word. But it is the word of the Lord. And let me just say that this is a beautiful building. Let me just say. I know it's not completed, but it's a beautiful building. It's a beautiful building. And I believe the Lord has already begun to fill his, this place with his presence. Oh, yeah. And we're going to continue to pray with you and for you as you continue to make all the improvements that you desire to make it fully your home and that God will send people uh -huh. your way. Yes. And those he doesn't send your way, that you'll go out into the highways and the byways yes. and compel them to come and hear a word from the Lord. Philippians chapter 4. Uh -oh. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. Let me inform me for just a little while. I've asked the Holy Ghost to anoint me afresh. And I want to talk about there is nothing I can't handle. There is nothing I can't handle. There is nothing I can't handle. Some things in life seem to be too much for us to handle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things in this life seem to be too much for us to handle. Uh-huh. Take Trisha and her three children. They lost her husband and their father, Michael, before he could live out 40 full years of life. Huh. Having to face such grief, <coughs> Trisha and her children have each said to themselves, some things in this life uh -huh. seem to be too much yeah. to handle. Yeah, 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 yeah. John and Melissa been married for over 25 years, but now have separated and are moving in the direction of divorce. Uh -huh. Come on. Because somewhere along the way, yeah. life seems yeah, 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 yeah. To be too much for them to handle. Yes, sir. All right, Dr. Yes, Reverend Lavelle Jones on New Year's Eve yes, mm -hmm. just a few months ago yeah. had to leave his son's limp body uh. after a drive by shooting in Oakland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To go to his church and tell his church. Yeah. That the Lord is good. Yes, sir. Wow. There are some things in this life yeah, yeah. that seem to be too much for us to handle. Uh -huh. Anthony lost his job and is now not sure of how he's going to make it was almost at retirement, having worked for a major oil company for years. In spite of his faithfulness, in spite of his excellent work, uh -huh. his job was shipped out overseas. Yeah. My, my, my. Yeah. my God. And now he doesn't know Lord, Lord, Lord. how in the world huh. he's going to make it from month to month. You fill uh -huh. in the blanks with your own story. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Because there's no doubt in my mind that you have also faced some things and or are facing some things right now that in your evaluation seem to be too much for you to handle. As a child of God, you must understand, however, that the truth of the matter is that many times it's not too much 
for us to handle. It's just so much that we choose not to handle it. Come on. that it's really too much for us to handle. Sometimes we just would rather not have to deal with it. Nevertheless, I've come by tonight to suggest to you as a child of God that there's a different declaration that ought to be in your mouth. Yes, sir. My assignment tonight is to help you to leave here with a new declaration in your mouth. And it is simply this. There is nothing I can't handle. I may not want to handle it. I may not feel like handling it. I may not think I can handle it. But as a child of God, there is nothing. That is no thing. Say that. Say that. I can't handle. Say that. That positive, provocative, penetrating, potent utterance is so antithetical to much of real life situations that it sounds preposterous. Come on now. Uh huh. All right. Logic says, common sense says, there are some things that are too much. Uh -huh. Toss that. Uh -huh. uh, but my brother, my sister, I want to argue with you for a moment. Oh yeah. And if you don't mind, I want to borrow material from your own life to argue against you. Okay. My Lord, my Lord. Because tonight, if you press the rewind button of your mind. And for most of us, we don't have to go back too far. We can testify tonight that there have been some things in this life that I said were too much for me to handle. But here I am in word assembly on a Sunday night as living evidence that what could have taken me out, what should have taken me out, what I thought was going to take me out, did not take me because there's nothing that I can't handle. You ought to tap your neighbor right now, tell him I'm a living testimony. I thought I was going to lose my mind. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I thought I was going to die. I thought I'd still be in jail. I thought I'd never get off the pipe. I thought I'd never throw away the bottle. But here I my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Because there's nothing. Nothing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That I can't handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to suggest to you that there's, there's proof positive in your own pedestrian pilgrimage. That there is nothing. 